Thanks for joining me to color. Today we are going to be working on my Color Wednesday blog post for September 7th of 2016. We're going to be using this adorable Moe's digital pencil image called All About the Candy. This also comes in a boy version and it comes with the cinnamon All About the Candy so you can print that with your image and put it on your card. If you have a question, make sure and leave me a comment and I'll get back to you. And I will put a link down in the description box to this little image if you'd like to head over and grab one and color along with me. I have printed my image on Nina 80 pound solar white cardstock. So let's color. So let's do our skin first. For that we're going to use E21, E11, E00, E000 and for our cheeks I'm going to use RO2, 12 and 11. So let's go in here and we will do a little bit here. She's got a little bit of skin showing right here between her pants, her panties, and her shirt. So we're going to do that. So I'm going to go with um, E11 first. And I'm going to do that. Just right along where the sweater is. And then I'm going to fill in that little bitty dab with my E21. It's going to be pretty dark down there. Okay, then let's hop up here and we'll do her hand. So again, I'm going to start with my E11. I'm going to do a little slash right next to her sleeve cuff and then down her hand. And then I'm going to go up with a little bunch of E21. And then I'm just going to fill in the rest with my E00. For this hand over here, again, we're going to do E11 first. And I'm going to do right along the bottom of her hand and right next to her sleeve. And then we're going to add a little bit of our E21. And then we're going to fill it in with our E00. Okay, for her face, again, I'm going to start with my E11, and I'm going to give her ear a little dab of color. So let's do a little bit right here on the inside, like that. And then for her face, I'm going to go from right here on this side, and we're going to brush this away over here a little bit, like that. And then let's do a little bit right here underneath of her um her mask and then for inside of her mask I'm going to go right along the top and she's got a little bit of her face showing right there and then over here we're going to do the same thing go right around like that and give it a little bit right here then we're going to go with E21 so let's give it a little dab here in her ear and then we'll add some over here to her face And then we're going to add some down here. And go around her lip right there and give a little dab of color inside her little smile here. Okay. Then we're going to add some E00. Better color this ear before I forget about it. And then we're going to add some E triple zero. And her nose. Now let's give her some cheeks. So I'm going to go with RO2 first. And she's got a little bit over here showing, so let's brush a little dab over here. And then let's go right here underneath of her mask. And then we're going to add R12. And then I'm going to soften it with my R11.
Then I'm going to grab E00. Blend this all just a little bit better. And then we'll go over that with our E triple zero. For the inside of her mouse, let's use EO4 and RO2. So I'm going to start with my EO4, and I'm going to try to miss her teeth there because we're going to leave those white. I'm going to go right on the back of her tongue. And I'm going to do the side of her mouth too, right here. And then I want to go over that with my RO2. And she's got a little front teeth right here, so make sure not to color those. I'm going to give it another dab of my EO4. And then I'll soften that with my RO2. And then I'm also going to use my RO2 to do her little lip right here. For her hair, we're going to use E44, 42, and 50. And I'm going to start with my E44. Let's give a little dab of color right up here on the end of her bow. And then I'm going to give each one of these little braids just a little swipe. I'm going to try to keep it towards the bottom. And then over here for this one, the same thing. We want to give her a little above the bow a little swipe. And then I'm going to try to do a little bit on each of the bottom sections of her braid. And then right here, I'll go away from her face a little bit like that. And then up here in her, in her where it's pulled back, we're going to color in the, oh, there's a little pot of hair right there. I don't want to forget that. So we're just going to brush away from her face. And I'm kind of bringing my swoops around to go with the, the way the hair is going. So like here it kind of goes up. And over here it's going to go this way. So we're going to go this way with it. And then we're going to add E42. Let's do a little dab here on our braid. Same for this side. And then we just want to swoop away from her bangs again. Then I'm just going to take my E50 and go over the whole thing. And then I'm going to go back with my E44 and add a little bit more dark in. Let's do her shirt next. For that, we're going to use W7531. And then for the bat, we're going to use Y11. So I'm going to start with my W7. And let's do the sleeve that's holding her little glow light. Right up here. And I'm going to leave a little white space right here underneath of her arm because I'm going to make this light glow onto her sweater toward at the end. So I'll put that on there. I'm just going to brush up just a little bit away from that line. And then we're going to add W5. W6, 
W3. And then W1 to fill that up in up here at the top. Okay, let's go over here and do the other sleeve. So we're going to go with our W7. And I want to do that along the bottom of her arm. Let me turn her here a little bit more. So maybe you can see. Up here. And then a little bit here underneath of her cape. And there's already some lines there for us. So I'm just kind of using those as my guide. And then I'm going to add W5. And then our W3. And then we'll go over it with our W1. Forgot what I had out. Okay, so then we got her little front of her shirt. So again, let's go with our um, W7. And I'm going to do that. I'm going to color right down the side here so I don't, I can use that as my line to brush off of. Let's go up here underneath of her cape. And then I'm going to brush this out here a little bit. Try not to get that on your bat because that will not come off. You'll have to go print a new one. And, that, and then I'm also going to bring this over here underneath of her cape a little bit. And over here and then under her arm and let's do right here she's got a little wrinkle on her shirt so I'm going to give that a little dab of color and I'm going to go with W5 so we just want to soften this bring it out here Soften this edge of this. And we're going to add W3. need to go. I want to leave a little bit of white right here so I'm going to draw my little line in so I don't forget. Okay that looks pretty good. And then we'll go fill in the rest with our W1. For the underside of her shirt, she's got a little bit showing there. Let's go with W7. And then W5. And then we'll fill in that last little bit with W3. Then we'll take our Y11. And let me see. Nope, we didn't use Y11. I'm going to use this Y11 later when I do the little circle over here. For the bat, we're going to use Y17 and 13. So let's do our Y17 first, and I'm going to just get that over here on this side. Brush it on there. Then we'll fill in the rest with our Y13. Go 
back over with my Y17. And a touch more of my Y13. Let's jump over here and do our pumpkin. For that, we're going to use YR18, 14, 12, and Y13. And then for the inside of the eyes, we're going to use W5 and YR18. So I'm going to start with my YR18, and I'm going to use that along the bottom. So let's go turn them a little bit more here. Right up here. And there's already some great lines that she put down here, so I'm just kind of using those. Then I'm going to add YR14. And we're going to color that dark black in our their W5 in the smile there. So if you get some in there, it's not going to be a major catastrophe. And then let's do, I want to get some streaks here. So let me turn him so I can go like this. Okay, and let's bring this color up past his mouth. here. Now we're going to go with YR12. Let's fill in this little section. And then I'm going to fill in over here. And then I'm going to bring this color down And we want to bring this color up. So let's go past his mouth here. And then we're just going to, let me turn him so I can flick a little bit better. I'm going to flick up. Like that. And then I'm going to take my Y13 and we're going to color this little section in. Like the light on her that she's holding in her hand would shine on this side of her pumpkin. Okay, for the inside of the eyes, W5, and I just colored them all the way in. And then I'm going to go over that dark, that black with my YR18, just so it's not quite so black. <laughs> that makes sense. So a little bit of orange cast, so that it looks like the inside of a pumpkin. Let's do the stripes on our pants next. So we're going to alternate stripes. We're going to do one stripe YR18, 14, 12, and 21, and the alternate stripe stripe is going to be V22 and 20. So let's start with the orange. So we're going to go with our YR18 first. And let me see. Let's do start down here on her boot. So I'm going to say this one is going to be orange. So we're going to skip one, and we're going to do the next one. little dab here in the corner and we'll skip one and then this one kind of goes down into her body so let's give her leg a little bit of color right here and then up from the back but we want this stripe to go clear across over here 
I'll put that there. And then there's going to be a white stripe, and then this one here is going to be an orange stripe. So let's go ahead and add color to that. Then this leg, let's do this leg. So we're going to skip one, and then we're going to do the next, and skip one, and skip that one. Then let's see this one, and this one right here is going to be orange. Then we're going to add wire 14. So we just want to add a little dab to each one of these stripes. Go ahead and fill this one in there. And then over here. Then we're going to add YR12. This one, I'm going to fill this one in. And then we want to fill it in the rest of the way with our YR21. Then for the alternate stripe, we're going to do V22 and 20. So I'm going to start with my V22. Let's do a little dab on this side. And over here. Whoops, this one right here should be orange. Let me grab my YR18 and we'll fix that right here, this one. And then YR14. I'm just going to go ahead and fill that all the way in. That. Then go back with my V22 again. So let's do this side over here. bit of our V20. And I didn't really go all the way across, I just kind of brushed a little bit of color on the end of that V22 and then left it white in the middle. Maybe a little bit on this one right here more. And since we have the oranges out, let's hop up here and do our mask. And we're going to use YR18, 14, 12, and 21 for that. And let's start with, let's see, YR18. And we're going to use that over on this side. And then I'm going to add YR14. Let's bring that up here. And 
and then we're going to add wire 12. And then we'll fill that in with our YR21. Then she's got some cute little hair bows up here. So let's do YR14, 12, and 21 for those. So YR14 first, and I'm going to do in the center where it's tied to her hair and then give each little section a little swipe down at the end. And we'll add a little dab of our R12. And then we'll fill them all the way in with our YR21. Let's go down here and do her underpants. For that, we're going to use YR55 and 63. And I'm going to do y, or my RV55 first. So let's go right here underneath of her shirt. And then we'll do a little dab over here. And then I'm just going to fill that in with my RV63. a little bit more of this dark R55, RV55. She's got wild pants. When I did the bat, I should have done this little stick over here. So let's grab Y17 and 13. I'm going to start with my Y17 first, and I just want to do a line down the back side of, her, of the stick. And then I'm just going to fill it in with my Y13. Her boots down here, we're going to use R27, 5, and 22. I'm going to start with my R27. And let's do down here on this side of her boot first. I always leave the red, try to leave it to last because me and red seems like it never dries all the way. I don't know why it does that, but I tend to put my hand in it and then I'm smearing red everywhere else. And she's got a little wrinkle on the back of her boot there. And right here you can see the underside of that heel, so I'm going to grab that. And then let's do up this boot. And then you can see the underside right here. And then again she's got a little wrinkle back here. We're going to add R05. And I'm going to color in this sole right here. I'm going to color in this one too. And let's give this a little flick. And let's do the sole on this side. And then a little flick on this little wrinkle. Then I'm just going to go over the whole thing with my R22. And I'm going to go back with my R27 and add in some of those shadows again. Let's hop up here and do her cape. For that, we're going to use R27, 5, 22, and 20. So we're going to start with our R27. Let's do this little patch right over here on the side first. So I'm going to do my R27 right in next to her body. And then I want to do it on each one of these little wrinkles here. And 
Yeah, I think I'll bring it down around this way just a little bit more. And I'm going to add RO5. And then our R22. And then I'm going to fill in that in with my R20. I'm going to go over it a little bit more just to soften the edge of that R22. Kind of make it break apart and go back towards the R05. That. And then let's do this cape back here. So again, let's start with our R27. And let's start back here in this little back corner. And then let's go, I'm going to go ahead and just go all the way down next to her face so I don't have to worry about hopefully touching it. And then let's do this up to here. Let's start up here. And I'm going to go along each of these little wrinkles. And there's some lines there, so I'm going to go ahead and fill those in. Then down here. And let's add some RO5. I'm going to go ahead and fill in this little section right up here. I'll go right along that edge. And I think I'll bring this up just a little bit more. Then we want to add some R22. And then I'm going to leave a little bit of white down here at the bottom of the cape because you can see her light's going to be shining on that and I want to add some yellow in there. So I'm going to leave a little patch there of white. Then I'm going to fill in the top part with my R20. go back with my R27 and we're going to add in these lines again.
So let's hop down here and give her something to stand on. For that, I'm going to use my W5. And I'm going to go up past her boot, so let's go right here. And then since I got it going that way, let's put one on this side so I know where I'm supposed to go. So I'm not going to do anything fancy. I'm just going to take my pin. I want to go around her boot first before I get black on my red. And I'm just going to go out a little bit. And then this side, let me turn her here. Try not to get her boot. And then I want my shadow to go way out here because that pumpkin's there. And maybe a little bit more. So let's put a little bit of yellow from her light on her outfit. So I'm going to go up here and add some right here along the edge of her cape. And then her sleeve for her shirt. And then I'm going to say my circle is going to go up here past this wand. So let's go. Got to kind of imagine my circle here. So we're going to go like this. And let's make this. Let's make. Get it away from the edge there. Okay, so we're gonna make our circle go out and around. Maybe it's gonna get her belly here too, and part of her fanny. soften that edge just a little bit. Like that. So it looks like the cute little um, light is shining on her shirt and her butt. Okay, so when I went over to Mo's and bought this cute little image, on hers she had drawn a little circle and around her girl. So we're going to attempt to do that. If you don't want to attempt to do that, you can go ahead and just outline her with like C0 and that would be super wonderful. But I'm going to wing it <laughs> and try to make a circle. So I already took just a scrap piece of white paper and I cut, use my small spell binders, um, the second one in die to cut the circle out. And I'm going to cheat. I'm going to put my circle where I want it to be on her cape. So let's say it's going to go like this. So we'll know where to put it. And now I'm going to go ahead and add some yellow in here. So let's go ahead and fill this in next to her body. And our circle is going to come out. Let's make it go up here. And I want it to come down here underneath of her pants a little bit. And we're going to go around. Not very good at making circles. So now you want to know why I cheated and and use the spellbinder die to make the circle to use to go around. Otherwise, it'd be terrible. Okay, then I'm going to grab my um, V25. So for the rest of the circle, we're going to do V25 and V22. So V25 first. And then we go ahead and fill in this little section here above her arm. And then we want to bring that down into our yellow. Let me move my hand so I can hold my circle here. And then I'm going to go out here, but I don't want to go to the edge of my circle because I'm going to make that a little bit lighter. So let's not go all the way. And then we need to fill in in between. I got to turn my person here. And then we'll go around like this. Round. 
around over here. And then we're going to bring this away from her. Then I'm going to grab my V22, turn him back around this way a little bit. Whoops, I moved my circle. And I'm going to use this to soften the edge into my purple or into my yellow. And I'm also going to color in out here. And then I want to use this color to kind of help do some of these lines in so it's not so streaky. So I'm going to go over the entire thing with my V22. Okay, so far so good. Now let's go up here and we will do the top. So grab your, whoops, moving my circle again. <laughs> and you, you might want to um, attach yours down just a little bit if you'd like. And then we're going to go with our V25 first. And remember we want to do, let's do from the ponytail over here. We want to leave a little bit of ring of on the outside so that we can fill that in with our um, lighter shade. I'm just going to go up here. that. And let's continue around over here and then we're going to fill all this in. And then I'm going to grab V22. Whoops, yeah, I'm moving my circle some more. I'm going to go right up here next to my circle. My circle is probably not, still not going to be perfect, even though I'm using a template. But we get a, the gist of a circle going around here, like so. Now let's turn and do this side. Okay, let's see here. Whoops. Let's turn around so we can go from the bottom. Okay, bottom. Okay, I'm going to grab my V25 again. And I still want to have this dark down here. So let's go dark, dark, dark. Around her shoes. And leave our little white circle there on the edge. And we'll bring that up here to the pumpkin. Let's bring it up to her knee, like this, like so. Then I'm going to take my V22, and we're going to fill in this little spot down here. And then we're going to use this color to fill in all of this. here with up here at the top. Let's see here. Okay, take my little template off. 
there. Okay, let's do a little bit of blending over here. And maybe a little bit more over here. Let me grab my, my yellow and see if we can do a little bit more. Bring it out here into the purple so it looks a little bit better. And then I'm going to grab my V22 again. I think I'm going to bring this circle out here just a little bit more. Hmm. Okay. Let's see. How about up here? So there is our adorable All About the Candy Girl all colored up. Didn't she turn out cute? If that cute little circle there is too intimidating, remember you can always just outline it. But if you're going to, you don't have to color the whole girl and then put the circle on if you're afraid you're going to mess it up after all that great coloring. Maybe do the circle first just to practice. So if you mess it up, you can print out a new one. That would be my suggestion, even though I did it the other way because, you know, I'm crazy. <laughs> So I hope you had fun coloring with me today. If you have a question, leave me a comment. Otherwise, we'll see you next time. Have a great day. Bye.